Good morning, students. Today, let us study the rules of divisibility. These rules will help us determine whether a number is divisible by another number without actually carrying out the division process. Let us have a look at different divisibility tests. Divisibility by 2. If the number is even, that is, it ends in 2, 4, 6, 8 or 0. We say that the given number is divisible by 2. For example, 26 ends in 6. Thus, it is divisible by 2. Divisibility by 3. If the sum of the digits of the number is divisible by 3. We say that the given number is divisible by 3. For example, look at the number 384. When we add up all the digits, that is 3 plus 8 plus 4, we get the sum as 15. We know that 15 is divisible by 3. Thus, we conclude that 384 is divisible by 3. Divisibility by 4 If the number formed by the last two digits of the given number is divisible by 4, we say that the given number is divisible by 4. For example, Look at the number 164. Its last two digits form the number 64, which is divisible by 4. Thus, the whole number 164 is divisible by 4. Divisibility by 5. If the number ends in 5 or 0, we say that the given number is divisible by 5. For example, 525 ends in 5. Thus, it is divisible by 5. Look at this another example. 330 ends in 0. Hence, it is also divisible by 5. Divisibility by 6. If the number is divisible by both 2 and 3, we say that the given number is divisible by 6. For example, look at the number 408. Is it divisible by 2? The number ends in 8. Thus, it is divisible by 2. Is it divisible by 3? 4 plus 0 plus 8 is equal to 12, which is divisible by 3, which makes the number 408 divisible by 3 as well. Hence, 408 is divisible by 6. Divisibility by 8 if the number formed by the last three digits of the given number is divisible by 8, we say that the given number is divisible by 8. For example, look at the number 53,888. Its last three digits form the number 888, which is divisible by 8. Thus, 53,888 is divisible by 8. Divisibility by 9 If the sum of the digits of the number is divisible by 9, we say that the given number is divisible by 9. For example, look at the number. 7 lakh 29,639. Here, on adding the digits, 
seven two nine six three and nine we get the sum as thirty six which is divisible by nine thus seven lakh twenty nine thousand six hundred thirty nine is also divisible by nine finally let us look at divisibility by ten if the number ends in a zero we say that the given number is divisible by 10 for example 8620 ends in zero thus it is divisible by 10 kids now it is time for you to remember all these divisibility tests and find out the answer <laughs>